Good morning, doctor. I'm going to introduce our group member, which is Bonaventure Lu Guangyi, Dae Yuan Bin, Yao Su Ping, Ling Tapshan, and Xu Wenda. And for our problem statement is that basketball player facing uh, trouble keeping score when playing games. To combat this issue, we are proposing a system to track the game data and also display it for all to see. And this is our pillar table. For our first fact is that scores are recorded when ball enter the hopes. And the idea is that there are two hopes at the uh, opposite end and we have to show that simultaneously. For our learning issue is that put the information need on the board so that people can see it clearly. And for our second fact, it's hard to keep track of the number of fault made by the players. And our idea is to obtain a way to show the number of fault made. And learning issue is that what is the most effective way to inform people the number of fault made during the match. And our third fact is <coughs> it's hard to keep time when playing basketball. And our idea is to use a counter to check the duration of the match. And for our learning issue are what is the amount of time needed for each quarter of a full game and how the player will know the time when it is up. And to solve this problem, some of the specific components are used in Proteus, which are sensor, buzzer, button, LCD display, and microcontroller. Action to be taken for the first fact is to use a suitable LED panel size to track the scores and observable by people who are far from the match. The solution is to display a single scoreboard large enough to include two scoring systems separately. Next, Action to be taken for the second fact is to put a suitable column to display the faults made. The solution is to place a button controlled by referee to add the number of faults done by players. Action to be taken for the third fact is to search for information of how long a game of basketball lasts and test different sounds that can alert a player when time is up. The solution is to display a countdown timer which emits a sound when it reaches zero to tell players that time is up. A button is pressed to reset the time. Greetings Doctor, I'm Chiwenda. This is our TFT scoreboard system simulation circuit. Starting from the buttons on the left, there are reset button, team 1 score button, team 2 score button, team 1 fault button, and team 2 fault button. The first LCD panel shows the time and the number of faults of both teams, whereas the, the other two panels show the scores of the teams. Now let's demonstrate how the simulation works. When the button is pressed, the current will flow towards the ground and cause a change of power in the controller. This serves as a signal and triggers the change in the score panel. When the timer hits zero, the controller will send off a signal to the buzzer and the buzzer will go off, which indicates the end of the quarter. When the reset button is pressed, the timer will restart and the new quarter begins. Uh, hello doctor, this is a coding part of our PBR. Uh, first, we define port A and port A1 as digit 1 and digit 2. Then we define some variables that are going to be used in the program. Next, we initiate port C as the output for the LCD display. We also made some character variables to be inserted into the LCD display. Next, we go into the main part of the program. We set up port A and D as outputs. Then we also set up the interrupt condition to be triggered on RB0 and RB4 to 7. We also set up the RB4 to 7 and RB2 as inputs. Then we initialize the LCD display. The two display functions are there to choose the data which goes to port D to be the output into the 7 segment display. The top 4 bits controls one of the 7 segment display and the bottom 4 controls the other. Next is the while loop. We straight away decrease the time by 1 to indicate 1 minute has passed. Then we go into this for loop. Here we display the time in minutes and seconds on the LCD display. Then we go into this nested for loop which signifies every second passing because the total delay for each loop is 1000 uh, milliseconds. Here we calculate and display both current scores on the two double 7 segment displays. The if statements are there to reset the score count when it reaches 100 so that it doesn't 
go over the maximum display value of the seven segments. Once the timer reaches zero, the LCD will stop and the buzzer will go off. Then the program goes into interrupt. In the interrupt function, the seven segment display is kept running while the microcontroller waits for the reset input. We also use the interrupt function to increase the score and number of faults each team has through RB427. Thank you. Hello. I will be talking about the application of scoreboard. In some multipurpose venues where ice hockey and basketball are played, the scoreboard unit which shows penalties are used to display the player on the court. Number of fouls, points scored in the game, and most importantly, the time left before interval or at the end of the game. The team fouls are usually placed in the same position as shots on goals in the hockey games. There are also plenty of games that uses a TFT scoreboard system, like this. For instance, badminton, table tennis, football, and so on. But in this case, we based on a basketball match, where when a point is scored or a fault is called, a referee's job is to push a switch where it will display the total penalties and keep track of the score at the same time. Lastly, it can also keep track of the time. Thank you.